Macs are powerful machines that occasionally overheat. Why does it happen and how can we avoid it? Let's explore. More often than not, that happens due to heavy workload on the Mac's CPU or graphics card and less frequently because of a poor air circulation. To check the temperature and get detailed system data, check out something like iStat menus, a data collector available on Setup that shows you real-time data in a comprehensive way. I personally rely on Clima Mac X. As part of an extensive toolkit, Clean My Mac X constantly reports the CPU heat and issues warning whenever there's something you know going off the charts. So once your Mac is deemed too hot, how can you cool it down? Well, first and foremost, make sure nothing is in the way of the air entering and escaping your Mac. That could be placed you know next to a heat source or if there's a dust that's built up. Then you can engage the heat protection feature in Al Dente Pro which controls your battery's temperature and stops it from charging it if it gets too hot. Of course, if you're multitasking, it's always a good idea to use Activity Monitor to identify which apps are consuming CPU you know, the most. Go to Utilities, open Activity Monitor, click on the CPU tab and close any apps you're not using at the moment by selecting it and clicking on the stop icon in the top bar and just quit. An even easier way to manage CPU consumption is by using App Tamer. This tool detects idle apps that are consuming a lot of CPU and notifies you. So you can then either slow it down, quit it, or determine how much CPU it's allowed to use when idle. If you need to take a quick action to cool down your Mac, Quit All can quit all background apps and processes with a single click. Another simple yet effective method is dealing with your open browser tabs. Try to keep the tab counter, you know, under 12. However, if you tend to forget to close them all, then try Tab Finder. Tab Finder shows all your open tabs from all your active browsers as a list. You can see the page descriptions or search for tabs, which makes it easy to remove the unnecessary ones. Open In is another great problem solver on Setup. It allows you to set specific browsers to open links with certain domains. This means you can easily separate your work, study, and personal activity. You can also customize what mail clients open mail links, how to open certain file extensions, and more. An additional measure you can take is using a browser alternative. Setup's menu bar X doesn't put pressure on your CPU as it lets you browse the web right from the menu bar. At the same time, you can still open an unlimited number of pages and have quick access to your most visited ones. Now, if you want to be proactive and prevent overheating before it happens, Clean My Mac X can help you dig a little deeper. It cleans your system by removing duplicates, old and open files, dormant email attachments, and more useless files. It's also great for checking your system for malware with its protection module, which performs checkups and removes malicious files. You can use Cloud Mounter, another cool setup tool, which gives you more access to your files by mounting them as local disks. You can reach all your existing cloud accounts in a single place. Next, don't forget to upgrade your software on a regular basis. Go to System Settings, choose Software Update and install available updates to keep your system at a peak performance. Now that we've covered the different tools to keep your Mac in check, head over to Setup to try its helpful tools in a free 7-day trial. You can benefit from optimized performance from your devices, but also improve productivity and focus thanks to Setup's curated collection of over 240 apps. It's a single subscription that fulfills dozens of needs.